Hello, Hoosters. How are y'all doing today? It's so good to be back with y'all. Thank you so much of all my new subscribers. Thank you for looking at my video yesterday. Tell me y'all sometimes what's, what's the best video that y'all like so I can know what y'all want to hear from me going forward in 2020. Let's say prayers and I'll tell you what, what I'm about to eat. Thank you, God, Father God, for this beautiful and blessed day. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and, and beautiful body. Thank you for healing my body, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Let me not forget uh, about those who need you, those who have fallen, those who fight for us. Have your way in their lives and have mercy upon all of us. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Now, uh, today, okay, I'm done with the leftovers. Thank God. I'll be back on track. Probably, well, I only cook on Sundays, y'all remember, and then in the immediate of me doing videos, I can go buy something or do a quick meal in the kitchen. So I'm looking forward to doing my seafood boil, maybe on Saturday, and I think I'm going to try uh, the dip from flavor, fla uh, flavor damp, uh, flavors by damp, dame dot. <laughs> I can't even say his name, y'all. Flavors by dame dash. I've tried uh, black denim sauce. Black denim sauce hit it, baby. It was good. So next, I'm gonna try to do flavors by dame dash because his butter sauce is on back order. And of course, B loves is you know is gone until it come back. I'm gonna try to make hers again by scratch as I did before, and I hope it's not salty like it was. But today, y'all, we're gonna eat some toast it, that I did in my toaster. So y'all know that old school toast. <laughs> it doesn't look good, y'all. All the butter in the middle. <laughs> I have. Remember I said I want to do some rice and eggs. Ooh, y'all. Y'all see it? I don't know how, I don't know why my camp, that is. Uh-oh, well, well, there it is. Mm-hmm. And then we have some good old sausage, y'all. So here we go. Oh, y'all, I didn't get me some nothing to drink. You know, I was still battling with a cold that's trying to be in my body. But I bind it. I'm taking the medicine, so I'm not going to uh, drink the cocktails um, with the medicine, of course. But y'all, today I'm bringing back uh, the strawberry jalapeno jelly. And uh, my friend Yolanda gave it to me. And it is from uh, my spicy hot wife pepper jelly and jam. Y'all can look for it. Um, on Facebook, but this is it. Y'all see it? Is it upside down? <laughs> no, it is. And it comes in so many flavors. It's just this, this strawberry jalapeno is my favorite. Y'all look at it. It's good. I wish y'all can taste it because it really is so, so good. Yeah. Y'all, it has a great strawberry flavor. Then just uh, back in, on, on your tongue, it's that jalapeno. It's not overpowering or anything. It really is. So good, y'all. So let me know if y'all would like to try it. I can get with my friend and uh, we can contact them if y'all don't find them uh, on Facebook, but you really do, and uh, online as well. Again, it is Spicy Hot Wife Jelly. Oh, this is the email, y'all. The email address is Spicy hot, hot, spicy hot wife jelly at yahoo.com. Okay, 
Let me know if y'all get something. It's good. Y'all hear the crunch of that toast? <laughs> mm. Well, these, these, these eggs and rice, I, I wanted this, y'all. You know what? I'm, I can't wait to get my new camera for YouTubing. Oh my God! Y'all know. Mm. Gotta do my house out. <laughs> mm -hmm. I saw some eggs is good and the rice. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. Let me see. Where did I leave off with my life and my story yesterday? so much uh we got over the drug when he put it in my drink the three men that was waiting in my door <laughs> in my in my driveway oh pregnant a third baby i believe i said when they laid him on my stomach yeah mm. Yeah, this food is really good tonight. I really wanted this. So, my doctor said six weeks. I have to wait. If I still wanted to have my tubes tied, then he would make me an appointment. All right? As six weeks came, I made that appointment, not just for me, for my baby, because that was, uh, of course, his first shots as well. He still could believe I wanted to die because I was still so young. I had my boys two years apart. 16, 18, and now I had just made 20 because he was born May. Hmm. My birthday is March. Hmm. Got my appointment. My baby got shot. Mama was scheduled for two weeks. So I had to make sure all my boys would be straight. Because we said I would be laying down for six weeks to heal where he's going to cut me out. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did it. I was like, no more children. I thought for myself that is I, I would rather have my tubes tied than, because I can't kill no babies, y'all. Mm -mm. I can't. Because sometimes, when I think about my baby that I had to abort, I don't know why I think that was my little girl. You know? I always wanted a little girl. And, um, yeah, I had the boys. I'm not mad about it. I just, I was one of the girls. So, anyway. Don't know daddy. My baby daddy. Raised up, y'all. Listen to that. Mm -hmm. Great provider. Mm -hmm. So, it was so good because his family was nice as well. And they didn't mind spending time with my baby. But I ain't let my baby go all the time. Y'all, like, who got cold? 
who's sneezing. Y'all can't be on over around my baby. So, y'all can't get another drink. Wait a minute. But I had some good support as well. I wanted to get back to work fast. But I didn't want to do the night work at the bar. Because I now have three children. So I believe I got a job at them. Part time though, because I still had that welfare stuff. But that once a month stuff wasn't good for me. So I got a cashier's job, yeah. Part time. And so life was back on track. <laughs> But I had a lot of responsibility Ooh, with them three children. Mm -hmm. My life changed once again. But what can you do? I got back on birth control. Uh-uh, no. I had my... Mm-mm, I'm lying. I had my uh, subligation and then one night my boyfriend and I, we had uh, got in bed, no, no, no sex, no none of that. And he woke me up because he, he felt something wet. And he got me up and he was startled. So he got up and he cut the light on. Then he made sure I got woke. It was a, I started hemorrhaging. We were in a pile of blood, y'all. My heart, I was so scared. So I went down on my mind. And so I, I was hemorrhaging. And so got there in time. But the blood act like it didn't want to stop. So the doctor gave me some uh, birth control pills. That's to try to stop the bleeding. I ain't understand that, y'all. But I did whatever he told me because I ain't want to die. Honey, them birth control pills blew me up. Ooh. I was like, Ooh. this is steroids or something. I don't even know what steroids are back in the day. So everything had normal back. He took me out. And he restricted my he restricted sex as well for another six weeks. I ain't care. <laughs> I ain't care. So and my boyfriend, he was okay with it because he knew it was a health matter. So I decided now, well, we were in a two-bedroom house. I had three children, so now it's time to move. So, I had to find somewhere to live, and I found a, a small house. It was three-bedroom. I think it was one and a half bath. It had a yard for the, the two oldest boys. You know, they can go out in the backyard and play. And so... Again, I was on that housing thing, so they paid the majority of the rent, which made it so much easier. Mm 
My oldest son, Daddy, had given up, and I was so glad. So, my third son, father, had a heart attack. And then shortly after that, he had a stroke. But his family was still there for me as well. And then, about six months later, he had another heart attack. And he had two more strokes and it killed him. He was 30. I was 20. He was way older than me, y'all. He had to be, he could have been 28, though. He died. Mm -hmm. So, to bypass a little bit further, my son, who is 35 now, the third one, when he turned 28, he had a major heart attack. That call that I got from the, from the uh, hospital, hospital calling, his brother's calling, my sister calling, Y'all, this thing like it took me forever to get to that hospital because my tears as a mother, no mother wants that phone call about anything that's tragic about our children. I remember, and I, I know I ran some red lights and stop signs. I know I did crocodile tears. I got to that hospital and all my family was there. And when I walked in that room, all I saw was hoses and wires. And mm, I kept thinking about his father. Well, the doctor came in, and they actually pulled me out outside the door. And told me my son was in a very critical condition. They also informed me that while they was operating on him and trying to put that stent thing in, that they lost him. They brought him back. God brought him back. My son was saved. So each day when his healing was coming, he was in pain, y'all. I was in that ear because at that time he was smoking cigarettes and marijuana. And I told him, honey, when you're given a warning sign as this, you got to be willing to give up some stuff, honey. Your life has to change, like, now. And I and I told him, I said, I know you were young, and I don't know how much you remember, but your father passed away with heart attacks and strokes around his age as well. So I'm like, I need you, baby. Mama is not supposed to bury her children. So anyway, we had gotten to the uh, cute little house. It's cute, y'all. Mm -hmm. I had to buy more furniture. I had to fix it up. The children aged, and then I got a dog at a retirement center. I worked seven to three, and occasionally I would work three to 11 if somebody didn't show up for work. This is gonna be a good part of this story, y'all. I kinda fast forwarded too. 
So what I can remember. I met this man at work. Mm -hmm. Somebody would have told me never date nobody you work with. But we started seeing each other, right? He was like six two. You know, I'm five four. I don't say I'm shrinking, but I'm five four. I used to, she said I used to be five seven. <laughs> I don't know. We start seeing each other, and I told him that I didn't want anybody knowing our business where we work at. Nobody. So yeah. Hmm. And the sex was good. Hmm. Sex was good. It was really good. So we got into this relationship. I already told y'all the other day, you know, sex is good. Shit, it just complicates a lot of stuff. I was sitting in the break room. And it was about maybe 10 or 12 of us in this break room. And back then, you know, you could smoke in the, you could smoke in the break rooms. And I smoked cigarettes back then. I don't smoke them now. I do cigar cigars sometime, um, but I smoked cigarettes back then. And we were out in the break room, and so uh, this cook, one of the chefs there, used to make sure I had breakfast every day. But he, he, he didn't want nothing. He was a young boy. And I was like that mama like, you know? He said, um... Uh, I ain't gonna call a man name. He said, this guy's at the window. Uh, he beckoned for you. So I look up and he, he did like this. You ain't talking to me because I told you I don't need nobody up here knowing what we're doing. I'm on my business up here. I ignored his ass and kept smoking my cereal. That big old fool. Yeah, I got that word bad, don't it? That big man came in there and he reminded me of what them children's father did. He came and stood on side that table and he pinched me in the same freaking uh, side, y'all. Like, what? Is this pinch supposed to mean something? But I had mellowed down then, of course. You know, I had children. I had to mellow down, get that beast out of me that, you know, those other folk had created. It hurt so bad, y'all. I had that little, like that little tear. <laughs> that little tear. I was like, this son of a biscuit eater. It's pinching the hell out of me. But, you know, you can't do nothing too much because you don't want nobody in your business. So he grit his teeth, y'all. He said, I said, come here. I was like, ooh. <laughs> he went to the door first. And I followed a couple of seconds later. <laughs> Not minutes. Oh. And so he just expressed to me that he didn't want me around any men. <laughs> Y'all say I'm trying to struggle for something to say because you know that doesn't work well with me. What not on the hand? That ain't work well with me. So I was like, oh, so I just hope that he's not one of these fools. Because you know I got a problem with a man putting his hands on me. And he's your thing. Don't worry. It's time to stop. Shoot. Okay. I'm going to have to really remember this. Until tomorrow, y'all. I'm going to show y'all what Rick, I'm going to roll this Food did <laughs> going forward. Thank y'all for coming back. All my new hustlers that's coming in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so every time I upload a video, you will get it. Don't forget to comment, share, and like. I love you guys, and there is nothing you can do about it. Everybody, enjoy your evening. Bye, y'all.